Before we continue, I would like to apologize for the noise of my videos. It has been the longest time um, facing this um, noise issue. See a little bit of uh, tweaking uh, of the setting in this OBS. Do you have any extra tips on how to reduce the noise of the mic? or OBS please let me know now what about if we want to add additional object into the array how do we go about it one way is that we can use this dot push method the push method adds one or more elements to the end of an array and return the new length of the array. Products dot push because we are using object, we can use the um, curly braces, and this object have three properties. ID. Product name. I say soft keyboard. It's price forty eight. Bring it up. Console dot lock products. First product, second product, third product, this is the original one. The push, we have this new object added into the array. Now the problem with this way of writing is that what if we type PROD instead of the um, Correct property name. So what happened is okay. You can see that the property name is misspelled or. It's not consistent with the existing property name inside the array. To solve this problem, one way is that we can create the constructor for this object. Here we can uh, create a constructor. which accepts um, three parameter the ID, the product name and the unit price this dot ID equals to ID this dot product name is equals to product name this dot unit price Price. Use this constructor. We can use the new keyword followed by the method. Method is product, and inside the uh, product method, we can pass in the data, the argument, first one is 8 let me remove this first the second argument is the product name Microsoft Sport that one is the unit price so 62 Here we get the same output, but 
by using this way we can ensure that the product the property name will not be misspelled because what we need to pass in is just the data as an argument and this particular function the constructor will create the object as defined method 